Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to Pastor Bacon for uh, allowing us to, to occupy this space. I would like to introduce the family that reached out to us at Occupy LA. This particular family really touched my heart because of the members that are involved in the family, in particular, faith. This movement exists because of people like you, because we believe that light needs to be shined in the midst of darkness, and the people is the light, and we're going to come against the darkness that is all around the world by the greed of the financial institutions. Sandra and Faith Parker. Okay, I'll start off with a little allegory, a little story that tells you basically what we're dealing with. My mother got a mortgage from Itchel, no, the, the Bank of America, and she happily had the mortgage and was paying it on time. We saw that there were, the mortgage had increased suddenly, so we contacted the bank, and they said, we're here to help, and we said, that's great. We'll give you a loan, and we said, that's great, and we signed, and we got the loan. Actually, we got it from Countrywide, but then they sold it to Bank of America, but that's another story. Then, imagine, if you will, a family sitting at their dinner table eating dinner, and somebody crashes in the window with a knife in their hand and says, hi, I'm Bank of America, and I'm here to help. Now, you have one choice. You can see them as really being there to help, or you can look at the knife and the broken glass and think that maybe something else is going on. That's what we're dealing with. Briefly, I wrote letters. I did all these things to get my mother a loan modification. They said, you're not in arrears. We said, OK, we'll do what you say. Then they held us forth hostage for three years while we sent paperwork, while documents were sent. Then they said, well, you're still in the process of a loan modification. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. We waited another, three, uh, another year. Then I complained to the attorney general. Uh, then I complained to Eric Holder's office. Then I complained to the comptroller of the currency. Then I wrote letters to Bank of America and Bank of Mellon, who suddenly had their name on our paperwork as well. They sent us a letter saying, we've assigned you a gentleman. He's going to help you. And his name is so-and-so. And this is his extension. I called for four months. He never returned my call. Then I called one more time and I said, I'm going to call Occupy LA and the media and they're going to help us because you aren't doing what you're supposed to do and what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. The next morning at 8.30 in the morning, I got a call. We're willing to help you. We're willing to help you. We're going to help you. We'll rescind that foreclosure that we shouldn't have done in the first place. We'll do all that. And I've been waiting. They called me and said, we'll sign somebody to you while the unlawful detainer ticks away. We're going to help you. Don't worry. We're here to help. I'm still looking at the broken glass, and I'm remembering that knife. And I don't think they're here to help us. Do you? That's why we're here. I'll let my mother speak her piece. I have been a teacher for 55 years in Pasadena, and I... <laughs> I've had lots of problems just like any other person. When my husband died in 76, I was about 33 units away from my master's from Cal State LA. But I chose to continue work in the Pasadena and all over La Cunada and every place else. But when they told me about the women's group in Altadena, I joined them for the last two years. And this is where I've had my little speaking engagement, right over there on the other side. I am so glad to be here. All of my life, my daddy named me Faith. I like to help people. I went to the School of Nursing, Los Angeles, when I was 24, working with seniors. Now who I'm using all of that information I gained to me. Thank you very much for having us here. And we definitely salute your prayers and all of the contributions. And let them know you're 79. And uh, she says to me, I have three daughters, of course. She's born on my birthday. And as a result, I will be 80 in October, and I'm extremely active. Thank you very much for all of your cares and prayers. Thank you. 